I'm pleased to announce that we finally have AI retouching available within Aftershoot. Now, don't get too excited just yet because at the time of shooting this video, Aftershoot retouching is only available in beta for beta testers. But since I'm a cool guy, I thought I'd bring you guys along my first try of the software. Yeah, just like you heard it, this is my first time using Aftershoot retouch, so this is gonna be a kind of like first impressions kind of video. Like I already said, this is only available in beta, so some options might be grayed out or not even available. And also, something else I want to add is, at the moment of shooting this video, you can only edit or retouch JPEG images. After shoot retouch does not work with RAW files. Now, I don't find that to be an issue since I only do retouching as the last part of my editing workflow. I select an after shoot, I edit it with after shoot edits, I correct in Lightroom, I export my images. That's not a problem for me. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is we're gonna create an album. We go right here and I'm gonna name this Retouch Video. video. Now I'm gonna import the photos with are gonna be, uh, they're gonna be JPEG files like I already said. Uh, this is from a photo shoot I worked in a couple weeks ago. So import this folder and these are of course portraits. So next. So like I said, I already went through the cooling process and the editing process. So now I'm going to go to the retouch tab right here. And these are all the photos. Some are not portraits because this is a clothing brand, but I do have to retouch the model's faces. So I switch to look view. Okay. We have this image right here of the model and we have some sliders. I'm going to collapse this here. Remember, this is the first time I'm seeing this with you guys. So this is going to be interesting. So I have blemish removal, wrinkles, teeth. I also have face, glare, hair. There's a body tab and a patch tab. Let's start, let's start in order, face. Uh, okay, I can get closer with the little wheel rolly thing in my mouse. This is the portrait I'm gonna retouch. Um, let's start with the blemishes. Let's start with acne, freckle, and blemish removal. Let's see what that does. Okay, it did something. Uh, right here, I think, yeah, this is the before and after button, so we can see some of the stuff it's done. As you can see, there's some stuff being done there, which is, it's interesting. It's not too exaggerated. It's a more kind of natural uh, retouching editing process. Let's, let's move it all the way to the end. Let's, let's, let's make it as fake as possible to see how fake you can get. And... Well, it doesn't look that bad. I thought it would look much more plasticky or, or, or much more fake. I mean, I never go all the way on any sliders in any software, but this doesn't look bad. Let's bring them back. Uh, let's see what else we have. Forehead wrinkles. Well, she doesn't have any. I don't care. I'll just move that a little bit. Eye bags a little bit. Uh, smile lines maybe here. Teeth. I can't see her teeth, so I'm not going to work on that. Face brightness. Now that's interesting. Uh, face smoothening. Just a little bit. I don't need to brighten her eyes because the flash is right there. Hair. Hair darkening. Grayed out. It's coming soon. Like I said, this is beta. So some options are not there yet. Stray hairs. Now that's interesting. There's a lot of stray hairs here around her, her head. I would have to retouch that. So let's see what Aftershoot does. Three hairs and okay, that's a nice result. I can still see some of it here. Let's go all the way. I said, uh, I know I said I never go all the way, but let's go all the way, see what happens. Oh, nice. So the stray hairs are gone. If we check on the before and after, look at that. This is all AI retouching. That's, that's interesting. I like what I'm seeing because this is not too fake. It's actually very, very nice. The, the hair stray removal is great. It is great. It, that saves me a lot of time. Before and after. That's a great, that's a great thing. Now, just like any other editing software, I can batch all these retouching options. Like I can select them, I don't know, select like all these photos and I can sync the retouching into all of them. And now all the sliders are gonna be just copied into all the photos. So if you have a photo shoot with the same model, 
same background, same everything, and you just want to copy the retouching sliders from one photo to like 20, 30, 50 or whatever, this should do the job, which is way easier than manually retouching photo by photo by photo, which is what I would do when I used to use Photoshop. You know, you imported a photo, you worked on it, skin retouching, you removed the blemishes, manually selecting one by one. And then when you were done with that photo, you exported or saved it and then you went into another photo and another photo. Whereas in this case, you just work on one photo and then you copy all the retouching options to all of your photo shoot and then you're pretty much done. You just export and you're ready. So that's that's very interesting. That's cool. Okay, so this is taking a little bit longer than I expected. I mean, to copy all the sliders, I guess, because this, like I said, this is in beta. So they're still working on some stuff here. And also, which is interesting, I'm working with a full resolution version of the image. So sometimes when you work with retouch retouching software, you don't work with a full resolution version of your photo. You work with a smaller preview of your image. So the changes are applied easier. But in this case, since this is full rest, then I guess it is going to take a little longer. Maybe in future builds, we are going to work with um, smaller resolution versions of our images. But I kind of like having the full resolution because I can actually see what the changes are going to look like in, re in a real time, you know? When you work with smaller versions of your photos, the problem with that is you don't know what your image is going to look like until you export your photo. So that's a problem if you're working on a subscription that allows you to use only a certain amount of exports or edits or whatever, because you're buying credits or something like that. When it comes to Aftershoot Retouch, it's unlimited. Just like the cooling is unlimited, the editing is unlimited, the retouching is also unlimited. But maybe working with a smaller resolution version of each photo would make the process a little faster. It's not slow, but it's not immediate either. I guess, I guess it's going to take a little time, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. Okay, so everything got pasted. This is the original photo. These are all the other photos with the same model. And... This is the before and after of this image. Look at the straight hairs here. Look at it here. I like that it doesn't look too fake. I like that it kind of goes with the way the image was shot, you know? Now there's some other options here, like the wrinkling of clothing, which is, like I said, grayed out because was, this is beta, this is not available. But we do have a patch to remove some stuff. Let's see. Um, I can change the size, okay. I can't change the feather of the path of a patch, so I guess that's what I mean later. I do have some stuff like, you know, this wrinkles in the background. I don't know if that's gonna work on that, if it's trained to do that or not. We'll just have to experiment together and see what happens. Um, Yeah, I kinda got rid of it. Let's see if it works here. Let's see if it gets rid of that wrinkle too. And yeah, got rid of it too. So yeah, interesting. I like how this is going. This is looking good. This is looking good. Look at this before and after. You can definitely see, you can see kind of gets rid of some of the face shine too. There is not a face shine slider yet, but it does work on it. I'm wondering if that's the face smoothening, getting rid of the face shine let's see i just pushed it all the way to 100 percent and i think it is i think it is now 100 percent looks a little too fake for me but that was the slider getting rid of some of the face shine so that's that's interesting i like i like the gradient of the retouching how it goes from one color to the other like there's one color here two three four different colors and the gradient from one till the last one is it's not harsh, no. Like I said, this is too much, so I'm bringing it down. Uh, let's get rid of this wrinkle, because the V wrinkle option is grayed out, so let's try this out, see what happens. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't work, maybe it's not made for that, but we're just testing it out. We're just seeing what happens. Oh, now that's cool. That's very cool. If I go back here, you probably wouldn't tell I did that. Can't tell I did that. 
Okay, so I want to try the face brightening. She doesn't need her face brightened because the flash is there and this is a clothing brand photo shoot. So I want to draw attention to the clothes, not to the model, but I want to see how real or fake it looks. Face brightening, let's bring it up. See what happens. Okay. So her face is definitely brighter. It's like a spotlight. But it doesn't look fake. Look, let's get rid of it. And this is the normal lighting in her face. And now let's bring it up. Face brightening to see what it does. And yeah, it naturally brightens her face. Now, this is great for other types of portraits where you want to would do where you do want to draw attention to your model's face. If you did not like the scene very well, or if you want to give it a punch, this is a great option. I'm not going to use it here. I want to focus on the clothing, but I like what I'm seeing. Anyways, thank you for watching. This is AI retouching within Aftershoot. Like I said, it's in beta right now, only available for beta testers. Not every option is available even for the beta testers, but as time goes on and they improve the software, it is definitely going to get better and we are going to have much, much more sliders. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow Aftershoot in all of our social media to be always up to date with the latest things we have to offer. See you guys in the next one. Bye.